has all the aspects of a big mountain in a little package. These views are incredible. Hello. Hi. This is Kerry. And this is Kat. And, and we are T in, in Valhalla. Valhalla. Yeah, sorry for the weird crouch down <laughs> stealth position. We're just getting buffeted by winds oh. at the moment. So we thought we'd come and say hello to you guys and let you know we're going to take you up Canik today. Started off our walk from Chryso. We're in the Molwyn area of Snowdonia National Park. Yes, it's the Welsh Matterhorn. So but it's uh, really windy at the moment, so... Um, we're going to try not to get blown off the yeah, top. Yeah, which is like, I'm like <laughs> buffeting because I get buffeted. <laughs> Lovely. We're in beautiful Chrysler. And this clapper fence here. You can follow it all the way along. And it follows the old Chrysler tramway. Which led to the quarries down, far down in the valley there. So that's a really nice thing. You can follow that all the way if you wanted to. The old tramway. So we're just on our way up Canick this morning um, and we found this, which we think is Helen's Well. So I know Helen's Well should be around here somewhere. And that is a genuine ancient well. Brilliant. That has been used in this area for just so long. So yes, we've walked up from um, Chrysler Village today. It's actually a place my mum used to live in when she was a child for a little while. She's a Coventry girl but she got very ill with whooping cough and that she couldn't recover so they told her she had to leave and go and get fresh air. So she did and this is where she stayed for almost a year I think it was but we have checked the weather forecast and things today. It's 40 mile an hour winds forecast yeah. today. So it might be a bit windy but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we're still just making our way up this path, keeping the big stone wall, the moss covered stone wall. Must be about five or six foot tall yeah. on our left. Bigger than that. I'm five foot six Kerry. Sorry. Um, but just wanted to let you know there's a uh, Snowdonia National Park car park in the village, free. which is completely free. And as you know, that's a great price. Um, yes, yeah, so we just make our way up. So you walk through the village to the first gate and it's just straight you, up this sort of track. There are signposts for Connect everywhere. Yeah. It's one of the most well signposted mountains we've ever walked. And by the way, Connect means night. Night. As in night in Shine Armour, so. Oh, nice. Mentioned the signposts. And we just found our uh, first one of the day. First, probably about a third to be honest with you. And there she blows. There she is. good folk can hear me okay a bit windy uh, but I just wanted to say that the path is quite well defined there was another um, sign down there that Kerry's now taking a photo of poking you towards connect uh, the night so yep it's, it's quite well defined I, I think anyway for um, mountains <laughs> quite pleased with how easy it is to follow here you loving it Kerry <laughs> yeah. We've missed you. We have. Oh god, it's been terrible. Oh look. Unimpressed. Right, over the um over the wall. According to mappage. Funny, I know Connect is no no monster of a mountain or anything very beautiful it stands out in the landscape and you it's just so recognizable you see it from 
all sorts of different places and you always recognise it. A bit like Snowden, I guess. You always know the shape. And, um, but from here, it looks unclimbable. And that's a, an another thing I really love about mountains in Snowdonia. Some of them just look so unclimbable. And when you're on them, you just, I don't know, you just always find a way. And it doesn't feel that bad. And I think my point is, Sometimes even when things seem really, really bad and really, really tough, they might not ever be as bad as you think or as tough as you think, as long as you just keep plodding on one foot in front of the other. Not always easy, I know. But if you can, sometimes you get to the top of Connect. And sometimes, like Kerry, you forget your shoes and you bugger it right up. There he is. <laughs> what am I doing? He said. Good thing with the the high wind speed, the clouds are moving through quite quickly, giving us great views, vistas out over sort of Port Maddock area and Port Mirian, and then up into the other valleys as well, over the more winds and surrounding areas. windy now had to take the hat off and get the old hood on um because i fear losing it um but not too bad just a bit buffety um yeah we never came we didn't come up this way when we first did connect years ago years and years ago now um come up a totally different way and this is a lot more pleasant it's just really beautiful the path is really clear so far obviously I'll keep you updated on path clearness. But so far, lovely. So I decided to just have a little pit stop here using the massive boulders and slate behind us and as a little buffer. wind break, yeah. Um, gonna grab a pork pie and a cup of tea. Also notice this little table area, very handily provided for us by Snowdonia National Park. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Just absolutely eyes bulging up my head on the yeah, way lovely. up. Sneaky little pork pie. <laughs> Don't know why it's sneaky. <laughs> Another really nice bonus about Connect and the Molwyn uh, range is that it's really quiet. Not seen anyone today. There no. was one other car in the car park. Yeah. Admittedly, we, we are midweek. We are midweek, yeah. Um, it's relatively early. We're actually started a bit later than our normal adventures. We um, did because obviously we're with other people. Yeah. And we're on holiday. We're on holiday. Shut up. Oh! <laughs> Just come over the stile. Really clear, defined path. A bit up and down. Fantastic. It's all these signs of mining down there. It's quite a lot, isn't there? Slag heaps and old buildings. Shaft entrances and things. Yeah. Just looks cool. Also, I'm pathing. Uh. <laughs> I think we're both puffing, to be honest. We're just coming along the um, steeper ridge now, up towards the um, peak, and I've got this on because my hair driving me mad. So we're just about three quarters of the way up now. This is the steeper part, um, and then we'll be a bit of a scramble at the top, and then we'll be at the peak. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, he's a little bit nervous because he's not that keen on scrambling. He obviously hasn't done it for a year, so it's going to be a bit uh, funny for him because he's got terrible um, vertigo and tinnitus. So, oh, you got your band on. <laughs> So we're 
on the ridge at the moment and this uh, drop proves it. <laughs> Again, a huge amount of mining's gone on on this side of the um, Knick Mountain. And of course, you can see over onto Malwin that that's also true. And although it's industrial, in some ways it doesn't spoil the landscape, it almost adds to its feel, its soul. You can understand why these little villages survived around these um, mining places. Some of the villages were solely for miners. So we've just come around that ridge that Kat was just showing you, and luckily it's, it's tucked me back in to the safety of a, a bit of a flatter piece for a minute. Not gonna lie, I don't do brilliantly on ridges and exposed areas at the best of times, but I don't know whether it's just because it's been such a long time since we've done one, but my little heart's racing at the moment. Aww. Even yeah. just watching Kat, just making my legs and, and things go a little bit to jelly. You just gotta take your time, know when you need to stop, catch your breath, and know who you're walking with as well. Like Kat knows sometimes when, she needs to go ahead or if I need to just you know take five or even sometimes I just need to crack on as well isn't it oh yeah there are times especially if a uh, place is really busy that's yeah. where my problems kick in and I think oh so many people so much noise and then Kerry will just crack on I'll just I'll, I'll just be head down behind him don't bother speaking to me it's my job to try and pick the path between yeah. And then if it's yeah. spooky, or if we're scrambling or anything, I have to go ahead. We swap. Just so you can see where hands can go and feet can go. Yeah. Go even ahead. even if you're out solo walking, nine out of 10 times, if you ask somebody- So many you, decent people. You can join along yeah. or, you know. Yeah, we've never really denied anyone anything, really. Uh, company or food or whatever. Company, we've never food. Anything. Directions, maps, exactly. whatever. And that's one of the great things about the outdoors yeah. and the outdoors community. So slightly more craggy here. Not too difficult though. Um, obviously you can find lots of footholds and the path is still quite clear in my eyes, I think. Oh, definitely. And there's, there's options as well. There's, you know, different routes, different ways. Yes. So again, I do believe this is a good firm first mountain for any person, I feel. It's, like, it's beautiful. And the views are ridiculous. So good. To be back on the mountain. And to be puffing and to feel the ache. It's really nice. Whee! Got a bit caught up at walking and looking. And then I realized I couldn't find Kerry. Cat's gone. I stopped to take some photos of some bilberries. I look up, I've been left in the, the dust of a mountain moomin. So the last bit is quite scree and is a bit of a sort of a scrambly scree. It's not difficult by any means, but I don't know how much of it I'll be able to actually record. I've genuinely lost carry. I've been abandoned. I've been left. There she is. Oh, there he is, there he is. <laughs> oh, there he is, look. Give us a wave. She's probably been talking to you guys, to be honest. Do remember this part from when we visited in 2016 because it's somewhere around here i had to stop due to not having appropriate footwear and we most certainly did not get these views let's get up the summit So the initial sort of climb scree started off quite sharp and exposed, but it has just tucked into a bit of a central corridor, which is just helping me gather my thoughts, slow my brain and keep moving. He says, whilst causing a traffic jam for cat. <laughs>
so far so good. <laughs> Look at those views. You got it. Woo! First time I ever came up here, Kerry had to wait down there. Like, like we said, he had the wrong shoes and it was completely full of clouds. Yeah. Couldn't see anything. And this is what I was missing. <laughs> Gutted, but still I'm here today. feel a bit more stable. Oh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. There's little tarns. The place is full of water. Some are natural tarns and some have been dammed for the mining in this area. Yeah, and again, there's more, more sort of signs of the mining over there. Lots. We do a lot of fist bumping, screaming and shouting on the top of the mountains. But it's the exhilaration, it's that triumphant moment, that victory. Yeah. And that for me, it's just a recognition of achievement. I know that sounds really over the top, hammy and corny, but it just locks it in there. Yeah, definitely. And just reinforces that you can, you know, achieve the, these tough goals and things that you set yourselves. In my opinion, it's the most me that I am. Oh. Kat just said it's the most me that she is. Yeah. And I get that. this what looks like a little hut 
um, sort of little fire area. And I thought to myself, my God, this buddy, there's copper in these rocks. Look, the blue. Then I realised it's just where the sheep are rubbing on the side. <laughs> Obviously, with the because they're all sprayed, just their markings, their indicators of what farmer they belong to. Yeah, that's all it is. But I honestly thought I'd struck um, copper then. I thought, oh, I'm, I am rich. I was about to start mining. Turns out that. Blue eagle to purple eagle coming over. Hello, purple eagle, blue eagle here. Come in. Uh, I'm, no, I'm in. Come in, come in. To yourself. Over. The mountain crazies have <laughs> set in. So, yes, thank you for joining us. That was Connect. Um, we've just stopped for a cup of tea and some tin pineapple and we just spotted off on the horizon Snowdon with a lovely dusting of snow um, so just over there that's Mount Snowdon up in the clouds can't tell you oh how <laughs> relieved I am to have done connect been on my to-do list after trainer gate I'm gonna hand you, you over. over I'm gonna hand you over to Purple Eagle now. I thought my tea had spilt. Oh, everyone's seen it! They saw it! Disgusting! Yeah, oh, it came out of his nose! He tried to hide it. He tried to hide that shame. I hope no one's watching this when they're eating their dinner. So yeah, we've had a brilliant um Morning's climbing up Connect and showing you the more winds and some of Snowdonia. Um, we're probably just going to head back down now into Chrysal where Bill and Kath are waiting for us at base camp. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a little poke around the village and, and take in some old um, memories. memories. Uh, so thank you. Yeah, it, really enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Tink. Leave a little comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already really helps encourages us to get out and share these adventures with you and of course don't forget to click the bell notification so you know when we've uploaded another video mm -hmm. we'll be back with you again soon for another adventure Real soon so until then stay safe and well take care and keep enjoying those green spaces take care bye, bye. everyone bye bye <laughs>